Welcome back, Pinverts. Today we're going to check out some more Creality Series PLA Plus, now branded as PLA Pro, white filament. Let's get to it. All right. Standard box, as always. Uh, unfortunately, uh, since I purchased this filament, uh, they have rebranded this. Uh, it's a little more difficult to find. It is not labeled as... PLA Plus is labeled as their PLA Pro, but if you check the details on the listing, it actually lists the PLA Plus. Speaking of the listing, show this to you. So there we go. You can see they have multiple colors. I believe it was $18.99. I think I paid around that when I got this. It's been a while. So uh, not too much information there. So let's come back over to the desk. All right, first off, the box, as always, Ender, Ender Plus Series, 3D Printing Filaments, Creality, Better Filament Plan. 3D Printing Industry Evangelists. Same thing, 3D Printing Industry Evangelists. Sajen Creality 3D Technology Co. Limited. They have their direct mail address, official website, I'm sure you all know, creality.com. Telephone number, plus 86. 755-8523-4565 Email is info at creality.com and cs at creality.com Made in China. Little QR code. Not sure what that takes to. Not sure y'all can see that on the camera. Everything is so washed out. Nothing on the top. What do we have here on the side? In multiple languages, we have 3D printing filament. And at least 10. Creality Ender PLA Plus Filament, white, new, made in China. Creality, create reality, achieve dreams. Over here it says EN-PLA Plus. Color is white, diameter 1.75 millimeters. Net weight 1 kilogram, print temp 190 to 230C, just like the, the last filament reviewed, made in China. On the back, FDM 3D printing filaments. They have an HP PLA. CRPLA, CRABS, CRPETG, CRTPU. They have the HCPLA, HCABS, HCPETG, HCTPU. And then the Ender Series, ENPLA, ENABS, ENPETG, and EN-TPU. Now what is the differences? The HPPLA says Upgraded Environmentally Friendly Formula. Matte Effect High Toughness and fine printing. The raw materials are imported from the United States. And there are rich colors for customers to choose. And the CR dash is targeting it, our mid-end users is with transparent tray plus black white color box design. Its slight tolerance in wire diameter contributes to stable printing. Quality, sorry. CR series meets your demands for daily design and prototype making. The HC is our cost efficient. It's for general purpose FDM product series on the market. And the EN Ender series is widely applied to general FDM printer design, which meet customers' needs for daily design and different prototyping needs. So pretty generic across all of them, except one's a mid-tier. And one is imported from the United States and is environmentally friendly. They also have some 3D printer UV sensitive resin. They have a standard resin, low order resin, ABS like resin, elastic resin, water washable resin, dental mode resin. I may need some of that. Dental cast resin, could use that too. And jewelry cast resin. All right, so let's see what's in the box. All right, nothing in the box. Oh, look at that. So, a uh, little different. The last spool I got of the exact same, not the exact same, same filament, different color, uh, was a plastic spool, which I probably dropped. One of the reasons I do like the cardboard spools, this is in a cardboard spool. Um, vacuum packing seems a little lacking. It's not tight. There is a bit of a gap in there. 
I'm sure it will be fine, but of course we all like to see it pretty tight. It doesn't look like the package was, or the spool was smushed anywhere. Lays pretty flat. Yeah, this corner right here, right in here, there's a little bit of squish. So this was tight at one point, and I guess air has gotten in. So let's go ahead and open it up. It has a little easy tear. Non-reusable. One bag of silica. Mmm. Yummy. Alright, what do we say on the spool? Yeah, I can definitely see it was crushed down. So air has leaked into this package. Uh, well, let's see how brittle this is. Ender PLA Plus 3D printing filament. Has a little scale on the side. 100 grams, 300 grams, 600 grams, 900 grams. Spool made from recycled material. Same scale over here. Creality logo. Printing tip 190 to 230. Bed temperature 25 to 60. Pretty extreme, but it is PLA. Printing speed 30 to 70. I do like they have more info on the spool. Uh, diameter 1.75 millimeter, net weight 1 kilogram, fan on. And on the back, it says the exact same thing except an addition of a sticker here, EN-PLA plus white. 1.75 millimeter, 1 kilogram, print temp 190 to 30. ROHS. So, spools in not too bad a condition. Uh, that might cause some problems if you have a automated color changer like on the bamboo labs the winding looks pretty nice not perfect but decent a little overlapping in one corner but besides that see what it smells like almost zero smell that's a good sign all right let's see how brittle Okay, that's a good sign. Oh, wow. And a tough filament for PLA. All right, so even with the air leakage into the vacuum bag, the end of the filament is not brittle at all. That is quite surprising. This stuff is really hard. Man, really hard. Okay. So I know that's not a problem. Let's see if we can get it on the spool holders without dumping everything. Right. Get the calipers. Throw them out so they are completely inaccurate as always. Wow. Now, can you see that? Probably not. There is a little bit of deviation on the end of this. It is all over the place. Does get better. Does get better, but I can see more down further in the spool. That's not reassuring. I've had much worse that has still printed fine. But uh, that's definitely a quality issue. You pull that out and it is just little hills and valleys all through it. Let's see if we can measure this. 1.6, 1.6, 1.6. So it is dimensionally accurate, even though it's not the cleanest. 1.6. So with these horrible calipers, as always, we know that's 1.75 ish. <laughs> Let's get it back in here. All right, so we're going to throw this on the printer. We're, as always, going to print a calibration cube, a stacko kitty, and a benchy. We'll come right back. We'll check out the results. See you in a minute. All right, we're back with the results. As always, we have the calibration cube, our stacko kitty, and our benchy. Let's stick them under the uh, microscope, see how they came out. All right. Start with the calibration cube.
came out really, really nice, just like the last Creality Filament did. Why it looks really clean. A little better than the blue we had used previously. A little less pillowing on the back and sides. Very nice and clean. No zits. This was printed at 100 millimeters per second. Uh, 65 degree heat bed. Now the hot end I did drop to 210. Previously we had printed at 215. So these all, have all been printed 5 degrees cooler. And it definitely looks better. That was right in the middle of the range of 190 to I believe 230. It listed on the package. But yeah, so right at 210 looks awesome. So calibration cube, success. Let's let, check out Stacko Kitty. Check out Kitty's face. Very nice. Nice clean lines. We got one little issue right there. Not sure what caused that. Looks like some under extrusion. Oh, we have some more of it there. All right. This is why we do this. Feet look good and clean. A little bit of under extrusion there is kind of strange. All right, sides, feet look great. Some strange under extrusion. Ears are nice and sharp. A little bit of zit right there on the very last tail bit of the print. So we could probably go even a little cooler. Looks great. Look at this. Drop in the temperature 5 degrees really made a difference on the tail. You can see there's just one little spot of deformation. On the previous blue filament at 215 right in here we had some cooling and sagging issues. Remember once again this is exact same speed. Fans at 100%. Don't really... Oh, there's that under extrusion. Do we see it down there? Just a few spots. Let's look on the bottom. Bridging looks really good on the bottom. Let's look at the top. Top looks beautiful. Couple pieces of string right between the tail and the ears. Not too bad. I would say that's a win. The uh, under extrusion at points is a little bizarre. But let's keep going. Besides that, it printed quite, quite nice. All right. Lastly, we have our Benchy. Start with the top. Just because that's the easiest. Looks absolutely perfect. Come down here to the back of the boat. Let's see. Oh, we have some little bit of issue there on the flag holder or the pole holder. Rest is looking nice. Let's check the sides. If I can get it in the camera. All right. Porthole looks decent. A little bit of sagging. The bow looks amazing. Once again, also on the previous color, we had a little more cooling issues right in here. Do see some more spots of that under extrusion. Not quite sure what's causing that. Well, get back here. Oh, we can see on the sides there too, on the box. Let's check the back. Back looks really nice. A little bit of deformation there. Exhaust hole. Yeah, we can definitely see it there. Look at that. A little bit, a few little zits there. Interesting. Interesting. Let's go back to the other side. Let's 
It's really nice. There are the seam marks. All right. Archway. Very nice. Yeah, five degrees really helped with that. Same thing with the porthole. Although we do see a little more stringing inside. Last time a 215 did not have as much stringing. But we're getting a little better print there. Yeah, archway looks great. Let's check the front window. Just a hair of sag. A few wisps in there. Stringing, but besides that. Looks pretty good. Smokestack came out awesome. I would say that's a win. The ender extrusion is a little interesting. All right. Once again, this was the Creality Ender Series. PLA plus uh, white PLA uh, decent results if you guys use this filament let me know check it out uh, good results bad results as always love your comments let me know how you feel about this filament what results you have so we can help everybody else catch y'all next time